Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me for this webinar session today. I hope to make this session really really informative for you and I would want you to get a great amount of knowledge and you have a lot of takeaways from this session. This is what my hope is. My name is Akash and I'm from Face Prep. Let's have amazing, brilliant, really informative next 15 minutes ahead. Before we begin the webinar, I would like you to take note of these four points. Some uh, This is a 15 minute long session so I request you to watch this session till the end. During the session, please, please, please feel free to post all your doubts in the chat box. And our team will get back to you with your queries within 24 hours, right? And this webinar session is beneficial for you if you are currently studying, no matter which branch you belong to, no matter which year of study you are in, or even if you have already passed out, this webinar is for you. This webinar is going to be really, really beneficial for you. And if you are attending this session through your mobile phones, please use earphones for best hearing experience. Again, I would like to welcome you all. Thank you so much for joining this session. Let us begin guys. Let's have a great session ahead. So I would want to start this session by stating a fact, right? Which is what companies today are not looking for while hiring. These are the factors that companies are not looking for. They are not looking for these days. Hiring trends are changing. So they are not looking for these factors. What those factors are? Let us see your academic background. So they don't see what, what background you are from. CS, IT, are, are you from that background or from non-CS IT? Are you from mechanical, from triple E, civil, uh, ECE, so many other uh, engineering branches out there? They don't care which branch you are in. I'm talking specifically in terms of IT industry, right? And uh, next point is your past academic scores. So your 10th score, your 12th score, your, your college CGPA. 10th and 12th might be something that you are not, you won't be able to change. You can't go back and write your board exams again. Similarly, if you are currently in college, if you can change your CGPA, well and good. But if you have already passed out, you cannot go and change your CGPA as well, right? So, and thankfully, fortunately, companies are not looking for these two. IT companies while hiring, hiring trends have changed. This is the key point, this is the key word here. Things are changing. What companies are actually looking for, there are three points which I would want you to take note of, write it down, do whatever, but make sure these get registered in your mind. The three points are, first point, skills, second point, skills, third point, more skills. A, 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 a sufficiently skilled person who not only stops after skilling him at the first level, but keeps on skilling himself or herself is the one who's going to prosper in today's IT industry. That is the way ahead. World is changing around you while we are speaking, technologies are getting developed, all of this is happening. So you need to keep on with the technology. You have to stay relevant. You can't at all afford to be obsolete, right? And next point, which I would want to bring to you is another fact, which is obviously if you have skills, if you have the correct set of skills, if you are highly skilled, you become more and more employable. That is, that is the simple formula here. If you have skills, you are employable. If you have the right skills, you have employability. That is what is the truth today. It's, it's, a, it's a fact and we all have to understand this. The earlier we understand, the better it is for all of us here. Right? Let us move ahead, guys. Now, what we are going to tell you in this webinar, let, let us get the objectives very, very correct. You have spent very, very precious time of yours to come here and I would want to give value to each and every second of yours while you are here. So I would want to talk about the skills that you need to have, right? Or how would you go about learning those skills? Very important. I can't just let you with a, with a, with a certain uh, a very starting part of a pie. I need to give you the whole pie, right? But only mere learning of skills is not necessary, right? It, 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 it's not sufficient rather. You need to get certified as well, which is something that you can show to the industries, you can show to the company. So you need to be certified, sufficiently certified as well. And finally, after putting in so much hard work, you have to get hired because this is what the end goal is. This is what the end result is, right? While this is not the end, this is definitely a first, certain first step of yours in this journey of getting skilled and getting a top-notch job in the IT industry today. But who am I to tell you all of this, right? I mean, you might have this question in your mind that why should Facebook tell, tell me all of this? Let me give you four reasons which will make it sufficiently clear. We are Facebook. We have been market leaders. We have been the leaders in this industry of employability and skill training for past 10 years, right? 
we have impacted lives of 20 lakh students more than that in fact for the past 10 years of our existence we have impacted 20 plus lakh lives of students now that is definitely no small number by any standards we have presence pan india presence in over 1500 colleges and we are an official member of mascom which is the apex body of indian it industry so there there we are we have our badges to prove what we are worth of and with that in mind let us go ahead with a great session right now i i would want you to have a clear look for this i mean uh, uh, look at what the fastest growing job roles are given face prep we have the required industry expertise we have stayed in industry for a long time we know due to the industry intelligence that we have and the industry insights that we have and the vast industry touch points that we have we know what are the fastest growing job roles currently in the industry but something that stands out here is the job role of a full stack engineer be very clear here full stack engineer you would see the number of vacancies and the average salary now this average salary is across experience range right from a fresher to a person who would have spent like four to six years in the industry but it's sufficiently high higher than all the other roles stated here to take a second to internalize what he just said full stack engineer now I have already made you understand that full stack engineer might be the way to go and up till now you would have understood what path I might be taking. So the skill the industry today demands is that of a Java full stack development engineer. So if you have the right skills which can make you a Java full stack developer, bang on, you are on your correct path. Well, having said all of this, it obviously would make a lot of sense to consider Java full stack development as your future career path irrespective of what academic background you belong to. Now, why would you consider it? I have already proved you, I have already showed you in fact what are the reasons but two reasons which I want you to emphasize is these two. You have got the highest entry level salary packages from 5 to 10 lakh. Those are great numbers. Also, more than 60% of the IT industry today uses Java full stack technologies. So in terms of the in terms of the financials involved, in terms of the salary that you end up getting, also in terms of the opportunities that you have, you have a sea of opportunities out there, right? So these are the two reasons I want you to make a mental note of and very, very strong reasons that which should prod you to seriously think about becoming a job for set developer. Well, I hope that I would have made it sufficiently clear for you on why choosing to become a java full stack developer should be a logical step and most importantly a smart decision for you right so let us move forward and and try to understand the big question here in fact quite a few big questions here i have termed it the big three questions the what where and how of things let us consider on the what aspect of things what are those technologies that you are supposed to learn for becoming a Java full stack engineer? What are the resources that you have to go through? What are those study materials that you'll have to go through? Those tutorials that you have to go through to become a Java full stack engineer? And what are the projects that you should be practicing? What are the projects that you should be building before you can go out in the industry to seek a job? Let us now consider on the where aspect of things. Where do you go and learn? Where do you get your doubts cleared? Obviously, you will have a lot of doubts. You need to get them cleared. And most importantly, where do you practice coding? Java full stack and becoming a Java full stack engineer would comprise coding a lot and you need to place where you can dedicate a place in fact where you have to go and practice and finally the how of things how much time will it finally take you to become a Java full stack engineer how much time would it be required of you to spend daily to become a Java full stack engineer to realize your dream of becoming a Java full stack engineer right now with so many questions in your mind face prep has come with an answer to these questions the face prep answer the question and the face prep answer to the question is the Java full stack program program offered by face prep. Now I'll quickly take some time to tell you about this program. Please feel free to write in your questions, your doubts in the chat box and we'll get back to you within 24 hours. You can also contact the number on the screen on the top right corner of your screen. You can call us, you can WhatsApp us and we'll get back to you, right? Now let us understand about Java full stack program program offered by face prep. The four most important aspects of this program are that this program would help you master all Java full stack technologies and skills. What are those? Those are the front end technologies in the form of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Angular, the back end technologies in the form of Java, Spring, and Hibernate, and the back end databases, which is MySQL and MongoDB. 
what else do we offer? What else does this program offer? This program offers you an opportunity to build an impressive portfolio of 11 industry standard projects. No small number by any measure. And you get an industry recognized Java Full Stack Developer Certification. Fourth point, you get placement assistance. Face prep helps you get placed as well. We, get, we have taken care of entire spectrum of your needs. You get placement assistance and you get high paying IT jobs. We start, though the, though the starting will be from three, but the whole entire focus will be to give you opportunities to get placed in high paying IT jobs, which can go up to 10 lakh per annum. That is the CTC we are talking about, guys. Right? Now let us move on. Let us see what are the important details of the program. It's a six month online program. You can take it from the comforts of your home, wherever you are, right? And daily you'll be required to spend these many hours and weekly, weekly there will be live sessions as well, where you'll be interacting with the experts. It includes training, certification and placements, all of these three in one single program. And most importantly, you have a personalized mentor support. This mentor is going to help you stay motivated. This mentor is going to help you stay on the track because it's a six month long program. There is high chances you may feel demotivated at certain points in time. You might want to drop out, but this mentor will ensure that you are not going to do so. This is the mentor's commitment. This is a Facebook commitment. And we have got an AI based interactive learning platform in which you are going to learn Java for site development. There is a training phase and there is a placement phase. The training phase begins from January and goes up till June. The training program, in fact, begins on 2nd of January. You will be learning Java Full Stack technologies. You will be building an impressive portfolio of 11 industry standard projects. And you will be becoming, most importantly, a certified Java Full Stack professional. Now, there is a placement phase involved as well where we will be teach you about interviews, how to go about preparing for interviews. We help you with that. We help you with aptitude wherever you're falling behind we help you with that we help you build a github profile your linkedin profile and we have you have exclusive access to facebook jobs board and of course you have interview opportunities with recruitment partner companies of facebook entire spectrum taken care of again guys right now i would like you to have a quick look at this training to become a java full stack developer is an expensive and costly affair right if you look at the programs out there today they come at a significant cost and to be honest the cost is justified getting someone to be job ready is not an easy task and so the fees are also usually on the higher side at face prep right however we wanted to ensure that fees never ever comes in the way for a deserving student this is why you join the six month long program 